Yeah, that's all good. What are you like, saying anyway, bro? You, bro? Don't come to come. Don't come with that Mesa Mount energy on my show, bro. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, what no, we got the old Steve dagger, we got the Fabrizio dagger. It looks like it could be going to you guys. Bro, How you feeling, happens, bro? If it happens, I, I just don't know, bruv. I'll be honest. Like, if it don't happen, I can't support it, bro. You know, like that. I can't support it. Like, if it happens, he has to prove me wrong, innit? Like, he's a bum until proven otherwise, bro. Like, I'm not, I can't do the Mesa Mount thing, bro. Do you know what I mean? I can't I hear do it. it. I can't I hear do it. it, bro. You know what I mean? And and that's just what it is. For me, he's he's nothing, bro. Like, I don't see the point in signing Mesa Mount, bro. Like, spending 70 million on Scott McTominay, bro. Like, I just, I honestly don't understand the Mount thing, so. Like, I don't know I don't what's know. crazy. Are you guys coming in for him with the fact that we're still asking for that stupid amount for him? Like, and take it, whatever off. He's in his year. final year as well. Yep. And you want 70 million, and, and we're actually. Bruv, and we're actually negotiating. Like, this shit don't make no sense to me, bro. I, mean, I, I don't care. I don't know why Arsenal and Liverpool are involved as well. He's a good squad player, but you don't spend 70 million on a squad player. So I don't know what kind of craziness he has for Mount. I'm interested to see how it works because I don't think he's a shit player or anything like that. I just I don't think he's anywhere near the hype that a lot of people make him out to be. That guy's a nice little presser. Um, he's got semi-decent creativity, and I, I mean that very loosely. Mm. And that's about it. I, I don't understand the hype around him. Maybe if oh. this was 2021, I'd get it, but not now. Brother, when I see Mesa Mount, yeah, I just see, like, another Jesse Lingard, bro. Like, I don't understand that. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Someone with high energy, do you know what I mean, that's going to press and yeah. stuff like that. He's, he's the guy that you start away from home because... You're not interested in really winning, bruv. You just don't want you just don't want to lose, bruv. You know, like that. It's like, like, bro, there's just nothing about this guy, man. Like you won't see a Mason Mount come from this season, and there's a reason for it. <laughs> bro, that is true. I like played every game up until February. Yeah. Like he's just he's just regressed. And maybe Ten Hag will have better coaching and he might get a bit more of a tune out of him. But I, I don't really see a world class player there. I see a player who will probably be good at best. Yeah. And I don't get the hype. I really don't get the hype. But oh, at the very God. least, if he joins you lot, then I don't have to deal with people talking about Mason Mount at my club every single This time. is what I'm saying. I'm like, Mason Mount's not even linked with Chelsea, bro. You know, like that. Like, and he belongs to them. So why the fuck do I want him? Like, it's cheaper mm -hmm. for Chelsea to keep him and they don't want him. So why do I want Mason Mount at my club? Why? That's exactly it. I don't know what contract you're going to give him e either because the reason why he left Chelsea was because of money. Because of money. And the thing is, Pochettino likes um, high-energy midfielders and he's not pushing to keep Mount. So No, no. Poch is pushing to keep Mount. He is. Oh, he is? But like, yeah, but I because don't think he's, he's going to He is a Pochettino player, Mount. He is 100% a Pochettino player. So the fact that he's pushing to keep him, I'm not surprised. Because that's the kind of player he likes. Well, Pochettino likes that high press. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then players that can kind of play in the middle. That's why I can see Havertz there. and Gallagher staying. Mm. Much as I hate it, they're probably going to end up staying. Bro, Poch, man, just pull it out of the bag, man. I beg. It ain't going to work. Mount's asking for too much. I think it's around what Reese James is on. And... There's no justification of that. And I don't know why the board would go back on their words and sign him when they've been negotiating about this for the last eight months. I think mm. even Poch isn't going to be able to get this through because like, he's got everything else that he wants. Jal Felix mm. isn't going to stay, and it's because Poch doesn't want him. Same thing with Zakaria. Yeah, he doesn't want Jal Felix, bro. Hours. Bruv, that's where we need to be going. We need to be trying to get Felix on loan, Neymar on loan, bruv, and creating some super team. What are we doing with this mountain? Do you know what That's I mean? what I'm surprised about because Felix, I think, stays in the Premier League, bro. And they're talking about Mason Mount, yeah, replacing Fred. It's like, why are you replacing Fred with Mount, bro? Like, Mount is not better than him. That doesn't make sense. Like, I get the whole thing about Ericsson being a squad player, that makes a lot of sense. But, yeah, Mount to replace Fred, Fred don't start for us. Like, I don't understand. Like, bro, this ain't making sense, bro. Like, I want to have faith in this guy, bro. Do you know what I mean? But he's scaring me, blood. You better pull off an amazing window after this Mount transfer because he looks like he's going to be a first move. We're trying to get rid of Mount before the window closes so we can keep it with FFP for this current season. So 
Mount could be with you guys within a week or so. Yeah. We could be we could do our next stream and Mount could be a United player. Mm. Just don't get it, bro. Because I'll try and wrap this one up quickly. Right, you know what, Mason? Mason Mount is another Luke Shaw, bro. That's exactly what it is. It's like signing another Luke Shaw. This brother will end up retiring at Man United. You'll get a 10-year contract. I know this club, bro. Oh There's yeah, you know, you know the top reds are gonna love the passion from bro, Mason Mount. They're going to love this guy. This Trust guy's me, one bro. He's another Luke Shaw. He's gonna be a fan favorite. Trust no, no, that. Why do you think our fan base has taken to Conor Gallagher so quickly? He's the exact same thing. Yeah. Lots of passion, lots of work. Ray will clap the fans and beat the badger and everything. Bro, he's gonna be exactly like, like Luke Shaw. He's gonna be my arch nemesis, bro. That's what he's gonna be. He's gonna be another Shaw, one of these guys that I want out of my club, and he just keeps getting a new deal. That's exactly what he's gonna be, bro. Like I can and, see and it right and now. He will always be available, so you will see him in nearly every lineup, bro. Every they'll week. have a song for this prayer, yeah, before the end of preseason. I know it, fam. They'll and take I, us. Ole, ole, Mason's out, out, out. They're gonna take it. Oh my him. god, please, like, oh, <laughs> bro, like this is painful. Stretford end already, bro. No, I'm just getting a headache, bro. Like, just thinking about it, because I know what's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly yep. what's going to happen. They're going to love this guy. Do you know what I mean? They're going to love him. Life. They're going to love his work rate. He's going to have bad games. They're going to say, you know what? Mount wasn't that great, but he tried. So I'm not going to get him too much. I can yeah. see it already, because I've been through it. I've had this for the last three years. Mason Mount's not played well, but you know what? He tried. He ran around a bit. He kept the work rate up. So I'm not going to be too annoyed. And I don't mind them starting next game. Like, bro. It'll end up being your captain in about three, four years. No, but bro, the wickedest thing about this whole situation, yeah, is that you can always tell the level of a player, yeah, by how their fans are reacting. Chelsea fans are trying to sell Mason Mount to me in every possible way. These guys can't wait to see the back of him, bro. I haven't spoken to a single Chelsea fan, yeah, that's like, oh, you lot are signing a gem or... Bro, there's no I'll point. Say 50 50 because, like, there, there is a lot of infighting with Chelsea fans right now because half the fan base can't wait to see him gone, and we never thought we'd see the day coming. But and none the of them, that, one, none of them that I know, none of them that I know, I haven't had a single Chelsea fan say to me, yeah, like, oh, Rance, like, now nah, you, you lot are gonna get something, like, he'll grow on you, and that all these men are like, <laughs> man, are laughing at me, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, like that, that tells me you know a good crop of Chelsea fans, then, bro. It's a fair play. All laughing at me, job. bro. There's not a single Chelsea fan that I know. I'm getting like... ripped for anything I'd say about Mount. He was like, bro. "How are you criticizing one of our best players? He's our best asset. You should There's keep the no team Chelsea around." No Chelsea fans that I know in real life, and no Chelsea fans that follow me yeah, that are saying, "Oh, you lot, like you lot, are getting a good player." No one, like nobody, not even one, bro. Not even one. It's crazy, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and that's, that's the thing. And James thing. Madison's and available. The other way round. I hear it. I hear it. And I'm seeing it the other way around where, like, no rival fan I'm speaking to wants him. No Liverpool fan, no United fan I speak to, no Arsenal fan. None of them saying, mm. oh, I don't mind getting Mason Mount. I don't think you guys utilise him right. We'll get the best out of him. They all don't mm. want him. But yeah, I'm meant to believe he's good enough for our fan base, even though we want to be going back up and competing with the same teams that we're going to sell him to. Yeah. That makes no sense to me. No, no, it's brazy, bro. I can't even... Man said Grizz wants him. He suits Liverpool, bro. Like, he will be their, like, their genie Wijnaldum, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what they need, bro. Like, he, he will literally be their genie. Like, just... And just even Liverpool cardio. fans don't really want him like that. That'd be more like an emergency option. No, no, Liverpool fans do want him. You know what it is with Liverpool fans? What I've deeped about Liverpool fans is, yeah, like, they they talk like they're a big club, but in their head, they know, yeah, like, they can't compete with demand them. They can't compete with Chelsea, Man City, Man United, bro. They know they can't, innit? Like, they do all the mm. big talking, but really, slyly, yeah, look at Milner, Henderson, Oxlade. Bro, those, that's their level. You know, like that. All the shit that Liverpool's done over the years under Klopp, he's massively overperformed, you know. Look at their team. Team's full of scrubs. They ain't got, bruv. They got no... But I don't feel like Liverpool fans are, are smart enough to know us. Like, most of them are hella deluded anyway. <laughs> yeah, but bro, they've got I'm no superstars in their team, you know. Like, Mason Mount is a Liverpool player, bro. Like, when you deep it, bro, do you know what I mean? What Liverpool do is they sign players, yeah, good players, and try and make them great, in it. And most of the time, it don't work. 
Do you know what I mean? Mo Salah's put up some great numbers. Sadio Mona put up some great numbers. Firmino done his thing. But when you look at the guys, bro, Lallana mm -hmm. thing didn't work out. Like, this is that that's the ilk of player they go for. Like, Mount is another one. Do you know what I mean? Mount is another should be at Brighton player. You know, like that, that, oh, Liverpool might try and make something of him. That's why the Bellingham thing was a pipe dream. Liverpool don't sign players, yeah, that are potentially world level players. They don't, bro. They sign the best of the rest, bro. That that's what Liverpool are. So the Mason Mount thing, yeah, a hundred percent suits Liverpool, bro. He can be the replacement for James Milner. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you play him on the left, sometimes you play him on the right, sometimes you play him in the eight. Do you know what I mean? Like, bro, that's what I he is. I've always seen Mason Mount as more of a Milner type player, anyway, because he's got that versatility where he's okay at enough things. He's just he's just not great at anything. Or yeah. The only world class thing he does is a half turn. That's all he has. <laughs> he hasn't got anything yeah. else. Like, if, if people ask me what his best attributes, I'm only telling you off the ball stuff and half turns because mm. there's nothing else. No, 100%, bro. So, like, for me, the, the, Milner, the, the Milner comparisons, very, very, very spot on, bro. Do you know what I mean? For me, Mason Mount. Maybe that's yeah. what will be for you guys. Maybe it'll be your Milner. Yeah, but I don't mind if he's going to be used like that. But I'm scared, yeah, that, bro, like, the amount of money these men are talking about, this player's starting, fam. Like, there's no... If you spend 60, 70 million on a midfielder, this brother is starting. We are not spending 60, 70 million on Mason Mount, yeah, to use him like Jisung Park. We're not, bro. If we spend that money, this brother is amount. starting. He's starting, bro. If a man said to me, yo, you man can have Mason Mount on a free, I'd be like, cool. Can be a squad player. If we're actually going to spend there, yeah, like hard earned cash on this brother, he's playing. That's a worry for me. I don't know how we can mask that. Especially if you're playing him with Bruno. Like, that's not even a Bro, the field. only way I will co sign, yeah, the Mesa Mount signing is if I know that we're selling Bruno. Because I don't want both. That would make a bit more sense. Because I don't want both of them. If man said, you know what, we're going to have Mesa Mount instead of Bruno, I'd be like, all right, cool. But I can't have them both together, bro. Like, I, bro, that's hell. That ball is just pinballing around the midfield between oh both teams. Oh, my days, bruv. Like, literally. Zero retention, bruv. Bruv, literally, like, man are playing, man are playing hot potato, blood. If, if we've got them in the midfield with Casemiro, that thing is nasty, bro. Poor Casemiro, bruv. The amount of extra work he's going to have on his hands. <sighs> Everyday transitions. The but thing is, Mount ain't even got the defensive awareness to play that deep as an eight. Everyone says, oh, he's an eight. We've been playing him out of position for years. Graham Potter played him for a good period of time as an eight when he mm. first joined. He stopped because mm -hmm. Mount was shit at it. He was, yeah. he was awful. Kept losing the ball. No awareness. So many gaps in the midfield when he was there. It's long. It's fucking long. That guy it's, is just a bench nasty, player bro. and nothing more. It's nasty. And I said to Saeed, I said... When I look at the profile of the team this manager's playing, yeah, we're not trying to play possession football. And Saeed was like, no, nah, like, wait till next season when he gets his players. We're being linked to Mesa Mount, bro. Like, any manager that likes the football does not, does not even entertain spending money on Mason Mount, bro. If a man said, oh, Mount's on a free, do you want to negotiate with him, give him 200, 200k a week? No problem. I'll take you as a squad player to run around and do whatever. But, bro, I'm not entertaining you as a viable starting option, bro. Like, this manager is showing me, yeah, that he's trying to play transition football forever. I don't want to play transition football. Like, I don't want to, bro. I'm not comfortable with playing transition football. I don't believe a club of Manchester United... None! A club of That's Manchester United's um, stature should not be playing transition football, bro. We should be imposing ourselves... On other teams, bro. When you go to a team with Mount and Bruno in midfield, you're saying to these men, we're here to run you down. That's what we're here for. We're not here to play football. We're just here to run you down. Like, that's crazy to me.